Hello everyone, I'm Milan Singh. Welcome you again here at the platform of Purvanchal IES where we are providing you lot many courses in online and one such course is a CGPSC course which we are providing you with Chhattisgarh special and in that series today's lecture is all about geographical location and extent of Chhattisgarh. I hope you are already aware that we at Purvanchal IES are providing you lots of courses such as a CGPSC with Chhattisgarh special UPSC, UPPSC, MPPSC, NCERT courses and also different subjects like science and technology, geography and disaster management, polity and governance, economics, art and culture, ethics, social issues, international relations and internal security. All you need to do is go to the Google Play Store, download this Purvanchal IS app and access the courses. So let's begin with the geographical location of Chhattisgarh. See, when we want to know where is a particular place located, all we need to know about is the latitude and a longitude of that particular place. Now, if you know that there is earth like this, we have an imaginary line equator dividing the earth into two equal halves, northern and southern hemisphere. We have Tropic of Cancer, then we have Tropic of Capricorn, right? And, uh, there are parallel lines like this. These are known as latitudes, the parallel lines, which tell you the location, whether it is in the northern part or in the southern part. Okay. And then we have longitude. I will change the color of the pen uh, so that there is no confusion. Okay. We have longitudes like this so that we can know whether the particular location is located in the eastern side of the earth or the western side of the earth. So likewise, there is the longitude and latitude. I think in detail you might have studied in the Indian geography. Now talking about Chhattisgarh, as far as the location of Chhattisgarh is concerned, all of us know that India itself is located totally in the northern hemisphere. So obviously the location of Chhattisgarh would become to the northern side. So in the latitude we have 17 degree 46 minute north to 24 degree 5 minute north latitude in the northern side that means uh, the lines parallel to equator and then in longitude we have 80 degree 15 minute east to 84 degree 20 minute east longitude i hope you know that the greenwich meridian time which is in the london the greenwich we are east to it five and a half hours ahead india's time runs that is east of it and the countries which are towards this side they become the west okay now uh, please remember the important thing that length of chhattisgarh from a north to south like a north to south is 700 to 800 kilometer but on the other side, the length from east to west is just 435 kilometers. That is east to west and that is only 435 kilometer. That means the length of north and south side is more than the east and west. This has been asked in the examination quite a couple of times. So you need to remember the kilometers. All right. The other important thing is that Tropic of Cancer passes through three districts of Chhattisgarh. See, we know Tropic of Cancer passes through India. Some of the uh, states definitely it passes through. And in Chhattisgarh also it passes through, which has uh, three districts under its, uh, you know, coverage when it crosses. Korea, Surajpur, Balrampur. So you need to remember this fact. This has been asked a couple of times in the examination, whether it is CGPSC or any other examination conducted by the Chhattisgarh government. Then IST, that is the Indian Standard Time, this also crosses through seven districts of Chhattisgarh. Surajpur, Korya, Korba, Janjgir Chapa, Balada Bazar, Mahasamunda and Garyaban. And please remember that Chhattisgarh is the place in India where this Indian Standard Time and this Tropic of Cancer intersect each other. Like this Indian Standard Time comes and like this goes Tropic of Cancer and this point of intersection is present in the state of Chhattisgarh that is Korea district. Let's take a look of the map. See, this is India. I told you India is in the northern boundary. You can see this is uh, the earth and uh, there is this equator, the imaginary line. This is the southern area, southern hemisphere. So India is not located in the southern hemisphere. So you can ignore that. India is totally located in the northern hemisphere here. 8 degree north India starts with at 0 degree we have equator. And here is the location of Chhattisgarh. You can see Chhattisgarh is a landlocked state. I will tell you the meaning of landlocked a little later. So this is where Chhattisgarh is located. As far as latitude is concerned, I have told you 
17 degree 46 minute north to 24 degree 5 minute north and then eastern latitude we have eastern longitude in the eastern area it is present this is the east area so we have 80 degree 15 minute east to 84 degree 25 minute east so this defines the whole exact location so if you want to know the location of any place you need to know two things that is the longitude and the latitude of that place and then you can actually understand where is this particular place located now, please try and understand one thing that this location uh, to a larger extent affects the climate of a place. I will also cover this part when I will deal with the climate of Chhattisgarh. But for now, please understand that this region from Tropic of Cancer to Tropic of Capricorn is called as tropical. Tropics. In the geography, this is the tropical region because it is under the influence of this equator and tropics. So, this is the tropical area is kind of uh, humid and hot. So, this weather condition prevails here. The hot wind tropics is this part. So, India also is in this part and this comes under the tropical zone. And if you take a look of Chhattisgarh, this actually falls, most of its part falls in the tropic zone only. From equator somewhere here, 0 degree till the part of this tropic of cancer we have the equatorial and the tropical region okay so this is the part of india which falls into the tropics or the tropical region and hence the climate is certain certainly tropical so chhattisgarh's climate also is tropical because of being present in the tropical zone okay now come to the map of chhattisgarh see these are the 28 districts. I hope you know the districts. And even if you not, let me remind you. There are 28 districts. This Gorilla Pendra Marwahi is the recent 28th district which you need to remember. We have Korea, Surajpur, Balrampur, Jashpur, Sarguja, Raigad, Korba, Janjgir Champa, Bilaspur. Now Bilaspur has been divided into Bilaspur and this Gorilla Pendra Marwahi. Then we have Mongeli, Balada Bazar. Mahasamund, Raipur, Bemitara, Kavardha, which is also known as Kabirdham, Rajnangao, Durg, Raipur, Mahasamund, Garyaband, Dhamturi, Balod, Kaker, Narayanpur, Kondagao, Bastar, Dantewada, Sukma and Bijapur. Alright. Now, Tropic of Cancer, this one passes through the three districts of Chhattisgarh. Which are these three? These are the northern most district of Chhattisgarh. Korea, Surajpur and Balrampur. Alright. Then we have this Indian Standard Time also coming from the state of Chhattisgarh and nearly crossing almost seven districts which I told you in the beginning. And you can see there is an intersection point of both of these two and this is present in the Korea district. It has been asked in exam a lot of times to so please remember that the intersection point of IST that is Indian Standard Time and this Tropic of Cancer is the Korea district and this is the only state in India you can see where this intersection takes place. From here Prayagraj this IST starts and then goes this downward and here the meeting point is at Chhattisgarh this one Tropic of Cancer and Indian Standard Time. So you have to kind of remember this information because this is very very important from your exam point of view. Okay. Now that we have understood the little bit of geographical location, we also need to see that which are the state that touches the boundary of Chhattisgarh or basically which are the state with which Chhattisgarh shares its boundary. We can see a couple of names written here in. So there are totally states. Chhattisgarh is surrounded from all the sides by state only and that is what the meaning is landlocked state. That means whenever a country or whenever a state is a landlocked, it means its boundary does not touches any sea or any water bodies and it also does not touches any other country. So Chhattisgarh does not touches Arabian Sea, does not touches Bay of Bengal and it does not touches even any international border or any border of any other country. That is why it is a landlocked state. Okay. Now, area of Chhattisgarh, you can see is here. This also has been asked a couple of times. These are the general information that I would like to give you about Chhattisgarh. Area of Chhattisgarh with respect to India is 4.11%. And in terms of area, Chhattisgarh rank as ninth largest state in the India. And uh, in terms of population, if you go through census 2011, Chhattisgarh is the 16th largest state having the population in India. And Chhattisgarh is a part of Indian Peninsular Plateau. Its appearance is similar to seahorse or hippocampus. 
the most important thing from you uh, from your point of view to study is the boundary of chatisgarh is associated with seven states that means chatisgarh shares its boundary with seven states of india let's see which are this i have made this a uh, tabular form so that it becomes easier for you to understand see i have written the direction with respect to the state of chatisgarh so that is to the east of chatisgarh it shares the boundary with odisha and this odisha is the state with which we share the largest boundary why because you can see almost eight district of chatisgarh touches the boundary of odisha so there are questions a lot of times being asked that which is the largest uh, which is the state with which chatisgarh shares the largest border or boundary so that is odisha then in the northwest direction we have madhya pradesh pretty obvious the divide when it was divided into state madhya pradesh was divided into chatisgarh so obviously we will touch the boundary of madhya pradesh and there are almost seven districts those touches the madhya pradesh border okay then we have in the western side we have maharashtra five states touch uh, five districts touching the boundary in southwest we have telangana with two district north is jharkhand again with two district in the northern part uttar pradesh only one district and in the southern part andhra pradesh only one district now let us take a look of map again see here i will show you through the map uttar pradesh only touches the boundary with balrampur district so one district okay then comes jharkhand jharkhand touches the boundary with two of the districts balrampur and jashpur then is odisha i told you eight district touches the boundary of odisha jashpur raigarh mahasamund garyaband dhamturi kondagaon bastar and then sukma so this are eight okay coming here to madhya pradesh a little bit of balrampur district madhya pradesh Surajpur touches Madhya Pradesh. Koria also touches the boundary of Madhya Pradesh. Gorilla Paint from Marwahi, Mungeli, and then Kavartha. Okay. Then there is Maharashtra with uh, which we also share the boundary. The like almost five districts share the boundary with Maharashtra with Madhya Pradesh. It is seven. Okay. Maharashtra it is Kavartha, Rajnandgaon, Kanker. We have Narayanpur and then we have Bijapur. with telangana we have only two districts sharing the boundary bijapur and then we have sukma okay and with andhra pradesh only one that is sukma so likewise this is what it looks like when the district shares the boundary with other state now here i would like to draw your attention for a recent information that i told you this gorilla pendra marwahi is the newly made district after dividing uh, bilaspur district of chatisgarh okay this was whole bilaspur earlier But in 2019, the new district was formed, named as Gorilla Pendra Marwahi. Now, please understand that after the formation of this district, geographical certain changes took place in the map of Chhattisgarh. What are they? Earlier, when this was Bilaspur, Bilaspur used to touch the boundary of Madhya Pradesh. Right now, I told you, na, this area touches the boundary of Madhya Pradesh. So earlier, this was Bilaspur. So we used to say that the Bilaspur district of Chhattisgarh touches the boundary of Madhya Pradesh. But then now, when the Gorilla Pendra Marwahi has been created, this particular district touches the boundary of Madhya Pradesh. Bilaspur no more touches the boundary of Madhya Pradesh because Bilaspur ends here. All right. So please remember that this geographical change has come into place of Chhattisgarh. One more geographical change took place, and that was on the landlocked district. See, you know, Chhattisgarh is a landlocked state that we know. But within Chhattisgarh also there are districts which are landlocked because they do not touch the boundary with any other state. They are located in the central and in the uh, such a part that their boundary does not shares boundary with any other state. and earlier when this gorilla pendra marwahi was not created we had nine such landlocked district but then in 2019 after the creation of gorilla pendra marwahi now the landlocked state has a uh, landlocked districts had been increased to 10 earlier we had nine landlocked district but now we have 10 landlocked districts i will tell you how sarguja is landlocked korba is landlocked jangir chapa landlocked Balada Bazar landlocked, Bemetara landlocked, Raipur landlocked, Durg landlocked, Balod landlocked, and then here Dantewada. 
Now these are nine in numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is earlier when Bilaspur was it a district without any division. That means when Gorilla Pindra Marwahi did not exist. But now that the Gorilla Pindra Marwahi has come into picture. Bilaspur also has become a landlocked district and that is why the number has increased to 10. So a new landlocked district that has come into picture after the creation of Gorilla Pindra Marwahi is Bilaspur. So these geographical changes have come because of the formation of this particular district and this can be a part of your current affairs and you can expect questions from this into your examination because these geographical changes have taken place. So today we have learned the geographical location and extent of Chhattisgarh and with and the states with which this shares the boundary. Please remember all of these and create a table form like this in order to remember. As many times you want to revise you can because a lot of times you will see questions from here. And likewise in Purvanchal IES we will cover more topics of Chhattisgarh and we have other courses also. So just go to Google Play Store, download this app and take a look of our courses. Just sit back at home, preparation, do your preparation online and get the success. Thank you.